hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to get a event triggered from the from an animation as animation notifier here you see a and trigger event and i fire this notifier attack landed trigger and i'm going to use this event inside a gameplay ability uh, to determine when the attack is landed on the on a target and when that happens I use that event to drive the rest of the function which should do damage and everything so earlier we were using delays based approach to uh, determine the place where the attack happens but that's not reliable especially when we have multiple different attack animations so that's why I thought of changing to a more reliable event driven uh, method to determine the attack so here is the demonstration and we can see the attacks are determined properly for both both weapons not just a straight shot for both okay so that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this full project from the patron page actually not just that there are thousands of projects that I have done in my channel and for each project uh, uh, the project files are available for you to download in the patron page I'll leave the link in description below once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out and also this is a part of the section RPG with gameplay ability system series I'm doing so you can watch all other episodes as well I'll leave the link to the full playlist as well in the description below. Alright, so let's get back to today's tutorial. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to use uh, anime notifiers to trigger events inside a gameplay ability. Uh, that means so here i am using a uh, play montage and wait but when i use this i don't have a way to uh, trigger an event after a notifier or anim notifier that is fired from the animation itself that's what we are going to work on so here i want to use it to determine the location of the animation where the character actually hit the uh, actually land the attack so let me show you the problem first so here if i attack you see the blood spills before the actual attack happens for the great sword see that's because if i show you the great sword animation the attack animation here I have the start sword attack here if I change this time format to seconds you can see the actual landing of the attack should happen around 0.8 seconds but here this is a subclass of the GE attack sword but here we are using only 0.4 second delay the reason that I had to do it that way is because earlier I wasn't using event triggers so that's the problem I need to solve now so what I want to do is instead of giving a delay here let me get some space first and here I'm gonna let me break this also we don't really need this sequence actually oh, but I'll leave it anyway then wait for gameplay gameplay event wait gameplay event right now here uh, I need to define a tag for the event that I am waiting for 
so let's say notifier on attack now let's say attack landed and I'll mark that as the event I am waiting now in that case if the event is received I don't really want to have a delay I can directly do this and I don't think I would need this part as well okay and after that uh, well we need to end the ability anyway so let's add a sequence here and let's end the ability and here let's proceed with the rest of the code okay now this delay is not a problem because we have already received the event that we are waiting for and we just need to wait few uh, a little time before ending the ability so right now how do we fire this event so if i go to this create sword attack right click add notify so here if i need to have a custom uh, animation notifier so to create that let's go to blueprints all classes and in notifier oh, it's not notifier and in notify yeah I'll call it a n trigger event okay now here we can override receive notify so here we get a reference to mesh component from the mesh component we can get owner owner would be the character when we play the animation on a character mesh owner would be the character blueprint and here on the owner we can send gameplay event we can call send gameplay event so here I'll promote this event tag to a variable make it visible right now make sure you are returning true and then here as I said attack would be landing somewhere around here so here add notify a and trigger event now if you select the trigger event under details you can see what event tag we need to trigger so notify attack landed now let's see see now it looks correct it syncs properly uh, it didn't work for the second one second animation okay that's because in the second animation I didn't add the notifier Should we need it maybe around here A and trigger event notifier attack landed okay and one more thing so what if this uh, animation is interrupted before we reach to the trigger point so in that case we can actually end this ability if it is interrupted and also if it is completed or maybe blend out yeah both in both cases it's okay to end the ability 
All right. Now, let's see. I should be able to do a chain attack. Yeah. Right. If I push this a little earlier, I would have the blood trail started a little bit earlier. Similarly here. Let's see. Yeah. Great. Now, I did this for the only for the animations of the grass sword but you have to make sure that you add that event to the animations for the sword and shield as well i'll show you how to add one well it's just here and trigger event attack landed okay just like this add this event to all other animation mon attack montages as well so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye